Well, hi! Knowing a thing or two about psychology is like having superpowers. You'll always find a way with people. And you don't need deep knowledge. Just use these people skills. Establish a baseline. Some people are shy, while others love to be the center of everyone's attention. Before using any of these techniques, try to learn what is the normal behavior for people you're interested in. Look at their shoes while you're talking. The one person aiming their shoes at you is really interested in you or what you're talking about. Crossed hands or legs mean this person is close for conversation or is really anxious. You may want to avoid them, or better yet, soothe them with something nice like a cup of tea. When someone really doesn't want to say something or is too shy to take part in a conversation, they will tighten up their lips in a line or even start to bite on the lips. If someone keeps their hand around their mouth in a conversation, they probably have something to hide. So you're in the middle of telling something you find really interesting. How do you know if someone is sharing this interest and if you succeeded in catching their attention? They will subconsciously lean towards you. If someone is always nearby but looks away the same moment you look at them, they still might be listening. Look at which ear they're turned to you. If it's always the same, they're paying attention. Maybe it's the best moment to introduce yourself? Cuticle picking and lip biting are not just bad habits. For some people, it's the only way to relax when they're really stressed. If someone reacts to a joke with tilting their head back and then laughing, they may be trying to hide that their laughter is not really that genuine. People smile and laugh with their eyes first and lips second. A person who only smiles with their lips most probably fakes it and looks kind of creepy too. Clenching jaws and teeth, speaking like you can't open your mouth or have a bad toothache, these are all signs of immense pressure and a possible call for help. It's hard to lie when you look someone directly in the face because we are naturally afraid of being caught in a lie. If a person tries to look away all the time, they may have something to hide. When you feel anxious and stressed out, you are more probable to look down than up. This is a good way to find out which kind of mood someone is in. Try to listen carefully to the tone of voice people normally have. Then compare it to the tone in which they talk to you. It will be a pitch higher if they like you. Pay the most attention to action words in someone's speech. Someone will say, I decided to do something, and others will just say they did it. It's a great difference because now you know which person gave more thought to their actions. When people laugh, they look at those they like the most in a group. We naturally want to share emotions with those we like, and we need appreciation from them. If a person closes their eyes when talking to you, it doesn't mean they don't want to see you. Most often, it means this person is deeply concentrated and wants to say something really important. So, it's just a sign you need to listen closely now. Rubbing the chin is a way of saying, I'm so deep in my thoughts, I'm about to zone out of reality. If a person starts to clean their clothes, even though there is no visible dirt or dust on them, they strongly disagree with something, but they haven't decided if they want to express their thoughts. Rubbing the eyebrows or forehead is a way to break eye contact and recollect your thoughts. It may show the person is in a difficult situation, and thinking of something else is a bit overwhelming for them. Try to control your pupils. You can't! Sometimes neither can teachers. <laughs> for example, your eye pupils dilate when people see something they are excited to see. One alarming sign your ideas won't be met with a round of applause is when people squint while listening to you. Squinting is a sign people don't trust what they hear and have lots of questions about that. If you want to attract someone's attention by giving them this special look you've practiced a lot, don't be discouraged by them not paying attention. On average, it takes three attempts before people will be able to read any sign you make. You can literally read minds if you pay attention to the direction people look at when they're thinking. If they look down and to the left, that means they're in the middle of some inner monologue and deciding on something. Similarly, people will look down and to the right when they are trying to remember something or using their imagination. I passed an exam today, and I passed another exam today. Small difference, but pay attention! 
one word means a lot. This another shows the person wants to demonstrate how good they are at something, or they're just bragging. Want someone to be easy on you? Raise your eyebrows. It's a sign you are vulnerable right now and need protection. People will react accordingly to that. People will copy your body language if they like you and want you to like them back. Try some characteristic postures and gestures during a conversation. If they mirror you, you're on the right path to win them over. Posture will give away everything about the confidence of a person in front of you. Straight back and lifted head means ambition and high self-esteem. Crouched position and downward look means the opposite. If someone clearly remembers some little thing about you, even you don't care to remember, be sure this person likes you a lot. If during a conversation, a person pushes aside any object standing between you and them, this conversation is really meaningful to them. When we're clumsy and making mistakes, we are cuter and more attractive, and subconsciously we know that. If someone gets clumsy around you, they desperately want to trust you and get closer to you. If people ask of you small favors, they trust you and want to build trustworthy relationships with you. It works like a small investment into something big, and you can use it too. People like those people they once helped with something. Start a conversation with a person you like, then nod and smile after a specific word you use. If they start to use this word more often too, your feelings are mutual. If someone's angry at you, the natural reaction is to stay away. But try to do the opposite, stay close. The closer you are, the harder it is for the person to be angry at you. Check if someone's secretly watching you in a crowd. Just yawn. It will make them yawn too, because yawning is contagious, and even more so if it comes from a person we pay a lot of attention to. Make a small comment on someone's appearance as soon as you meet them. It doesn't have to be a compliment, and it sure doesn't need to be a critique. A comment on eye color will work like a charm. You will instantly grab their attention, and they will remember you. Stand nearby a mirror to calm down someone who's about to get really angry at you. They will see themselves in the mirror and won't act like that. Nobody wants to see themselves angry and negative. If you see the same person at the same parties you go to time after time, be sure it's not a coincidence. Even if this person doesn't do it intentionally, they do it because you probably need to get to know each other better. Or they're stalking you. Now you're going to pay more attention, aren't you? And finally, a universal rule. You don't have to be a psychologist to read people and to know them better. Everything you need is in your guts. Right there with your spleen, liver, and all that bacteria. The gut feeling is based on your natural understanding of all the psychological tricks. You just need to learn to trust it and not to overthink it. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!